what do I say again? You can say welcome back to Cook and a Half. Welcome back to Cook and a Half. Today we're gonna make popcorn balls. Good job. <laughs> I love you. Oh, you want to be a a witch <laughs> werewolf? <laughs> a witch wolf? <laughs> Welcome back to Cook and a Half. Today, this little witch and I are gonna make popcorn balls. Today, we're just putting sprinkles in it because that's what we have. But you could put Halloween candy in them and that would be pretty good, wouldn't it? No. Like and subscribe for more Cook and a Half. Now we're gonna go over to the stove and get started. Uh. We're at the stove now. I'm gonna let Artie sit this part out. Hot sugar is not really toddler friendly, but I have everything ready to go because the process goes sort of fast. Once we do our initial mixture, we're gonna want the baking soda and the vanilla at the ready so we can dump them right in. I have my popcorn all ready too because once the sugar syrup comes to the correct temperature, we're gonna wanna immediately pour it on our popcorn. I'm just using popcorn and then also some chocolate sprinkles, but you could use multicolored sprinkles. You could swap out some of the popcorn for your cereal, your favorite cereal, you could throw in some Halloween candy to spice them up, whatever you want. As long as the volume is the same, it should be fine. Into our pot, we'll put our butter, granulated sugar, and I'm using golden syrup, which is a syrup made from sugar cane, mostly just because I like the flavor better than regular corn syrup, but if you'd like to use corn syrup, that's fine too if that's what's more readily available at your store. But the golden syrup has sort of a toasted sugar flavor, which is very delicious. So that's why I'm using it. And then we'll cook this. We're gonna get it to 235 degrees on your thermometer, which is just about softball. This will take a few minutes. You can stir it at this point just to sort of combine everything. I like to just wait until the butter is melted. It makes the mixture easier to combine. But once it starts bubbling, you really don't wanna get in there at all. Just let it do its thing and come up to temperature. Oh, and the salt. No, I can't forget the salt. <laughs> Artie would have reminded me. I'm the salt master. What did I say, 235? Oh, we're there. We're there. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> Happens faster than you think. All right, 235. So now we're gonna put in our vanilla and our baking soda. And it's gonna fizz up a little bit, which is what we want, I think. <laughs> Just make sure that stirs in. That's basically gonna lighten up our sugar syrup and make it not so, so tight on the popcorn, you know what I mean? See how it got all fluffy? And then we'll put it right on the popcorn. That's why you have to have everything ready to go. And we'll toss it all together. Smells so buttery and delicious. Make sure it's nice and even. I mean, you could just throw this on a sheet pan, a buttered sheet pan and let it cool and you have toffee popcorn. But we're gonna take it a step further. Okay, now I'm gonna put in my sprinkles. I'm using chocolate sprinkles. Okay, so we'll let this cool slightly until we can handle it and Artie can come help me make popcorn balls. Ooh. It's very spooky. We are putting on some clean dishwashing gloves. My thumb. <laughs> With great difficulty. <laughs> We're missing a finger. <laughs> Where's this finger? One, two, three, four. <gasps> They're all in there. Okay, so now you can do this just with bare hands, but it makes the job a little easier with little ones. So now we're just gonna make little popcorn balls, ready? So we can dip our hands into this warm mixture and form it into balls. <laughs> I can see a lot of popcorn. Yeah? So each one's about a cup. So you can make them bigger or smaller as you wish. Don't they look so cute? Are you having fun? See, we just squish it into balls. 
<laughs> what do you want to be for Halloween, Artie? A spider. Now you want to be a spider? We can do that. You want to be a spider? Oh, okay. I make, we make pumpkin slippers. <gasps> Oh boy. I think they'd look really cute with like, if we had some orange and black sprinkles for Halloween, or we could put red and green for the holidays. I'm not, Very interested. <laughs> I'm not actually Spidey. You're not Spidey? Look, see, I'm not actually oh, Spidey. You're just actually my sweet boy. Do you wanna put some sprinkles on these? Let me. Yeah. <laughs> Put a few extras, right? Can't hurt. What should we call these? We could call them ants in, in the sprinkles that you just eat a little pumpkin ball. Hey, Marty, do you have any other lessons for us today? No. No? <laughs> like and subscribe for more. Kukna <laughs> See, she's not actually a werewolf. <laughs> and see, I'm not actually a witch. Nope. You fooled me, though. <laughs> oh, we forgot to eat them. Duh. I'm not going to eat them. I'm always tasting alone. What about my... Try this one. What about, what about my lollipop? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, good. I mean, it's sugary chocolatey popcorn, so, you know, not a tough sell. Where can I find this recipe? At Food 53. Ah, I've never heard of Food 53 before. Find this recipe at food52.com, right? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm <laughs> Can't take this anymore.